My name is Ludwig Sidemark, I'm a PhD student at Lancaster University and I'll present our research project Radii. And this work is done in collaboration with Dominic Potts, Bill Bappish and Hans Kellersen. Radii is a pop-up radial interface designed to maximize expressiveness with input from only the eyes and head and provides discrete and continuous input and scaling to support larger future sets. And I'll present its design and results for how it supports this type of interaction. Gaze and head are attractive hands-free alternatives as sensing is directly integrated into the HMD. Gaze is fast and effortless while head movement is more precise for control. However, both lack an explicit selection mechanism and expose minus touch issues as they are always on. Hands-free interfaces have therefore remained limited in their expressiveness and control. For the design of Radii, we built on eye and head coordination insights. And Radii's core concept is to use an eye and head controlled interface for expressive, hands-free control of objects in any 3D environments. And to achieve this, Radii consists of three parts. The first part is a pop-up radial interface and its radial structure is based on the eyes and head's capability to move in all directions when performing gaze shifts. And the pop-up nature allows on-demand control without causing clutter when not in use. The interface structure, position and invocation depend on its context of use. Object-dependent radii interfaces are used to manipulate specific objects and are invoked by singling out an object in the environment. Alternatively, an object-independent radii interface can interact with multiple objects simultaneously or with objects that are not visible or at an uncomfortable head position. And these are invoked via a generic gesture or command. The second part is look and cross, a gaze activated head crossing technique that employs gaze for hover interaction and head crossing to select the gaze activated widget. And this is natural and efficient for the selection as head movement naturally follows eye gaze and avoids Midas touch issues as the head remains typically offset from gaze. Finally, combining the radial pop-up interface and looking cross provides a broad set of widgets available for object control. First, in addition to basic selection, Radii also supports logically connected widgets such as checkboxes and radio buttons. Second, extending looking cross provides continuous interaction by having the head cursor remain within the widget boundary after selection. The interaction is then active until the head cursor leaves the widget boundary, similar to holding down a button. And we can also transform the widget into a one-dimensional slider along the ring arc by adding meaning to the cursor position. Finally, Radia supports scaling in three ways to support larger interfaces and increased functionality. First, nested interaction is supported by expanding the interface on outer rings. Hidden nested widgets are displayed when gazing on the parent widget that can then be selected. Second, the interface can replace widgets on a ring via toggling, and replacing widgets allow a single ring to store a large number of widgets without relying on multiple layers. Third, Radii allows fluid command composition for input of multiple parameters by placing command options on separate rings. The user then selects a command at each ring when traversing through the rings. The user may even pass over a ring without performing a selection if a command is undesirable. We developed three VR and AR applications to highlight Radii design considerations, of which you've now seen snippets of. And please refer to the paper and the accompanying video figure for full design and application details. And finally, we did a user study to see how radial properties such as menu size, widget amount and widget direction affected looking cross selection performance and preference. From this study, there are two key points that I'd like to highlight. One, users were able to quickly and accurately select radii widgets. Two, it is important to consider the natural behaviors of the eyes, head and their coordination. And this includes one, selecting a comfortable menu size for the neck, two, consider the combination of menu size and widget amount to assure easy selection without relying on straining refined movements, and three, consider the direction of commonly used widgets as horizontal widgets were more comfortable to select. Please refer to the paper for full study details. So in conclusion, combining gaze and head for interaction extends their capabilities to allow effortless interface exploration and stable selection. Together with looking cross, the radial interface provides discrete and continuous interaction and multi-parameter input via command composition for expressive hands-free control. And careful consideration of interface parameters has to be made to support easy interaction that does not disturb natural gaze and head behaviors. That is all for my talk. Thank you for listening.